Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil and we just left the save room and now we're going to kill some zombies because fuck these guys, I don't feel like dodging them. Okay, I'll try to dodge them as best as I can, so, certain ones, but some of them, fuck them, I'm not going to waste my time, I'd rather just waste my bullets and take them out. Ah oh shit, there's one behind me, no! Go away, go away. Okay, I think I'm in a good spot. Let's go ahead and reload and... Back up a bit. Where are you, you fuckers? Come on, screen. There we go. Oh shit! Go down. Go down. Drop. There we go. I think he's dead. No, he's not. Okay. Alright. Already down to nine bullets remaining and 15 in the chamber. That's perfect. But the good news is, we won't have to dodge these three assholes ever, so. Good, good for us, right? Anyways, there's a carver. There's a carving of armor on that door, so we'll need the armor key for later. Right now, we only have the sword key. So, let's go put that to you, shall we? Let's run down here. And if I can make a recommendation, hug the wall there. Don't run straight ahead like I did, because if you do, you won't get bit like I did and have to use your first aid spray. Ugh, yeah. we're off to a bad start. So, unlock this door. Go in the door. Go. Okay, maybe not. Unlock that. That's what happens when you chicken out. What can I say? But uh, we do want to run up here real quick so we can uh, get another unfortunate large dose of Rebecca. Seriously. I don't like Rebecca in the original game. What can I say? She is very annoying sounding. I don't like her voice. I mean, I don't like Jill's voice either, but I don't like Rebecca. She's, you know, I, you can't convince me that Stars would seriously hire her at 18. She doesn't seem to used, she doesn't seem like a confident gal at all. Not like in the remake anyways. She still seems a little vulnerable at times in the remake, but not to the point of this. Like, I could actually believe the remake Rebecca could get hired on at 18 and all that, and I'm pushing this the wrong way. Let's push it the right way, shall we? And as you can tell, I'm still struggling with these tank controls, okay? I am never going to get used to those, no matter how many years I play these games. Because I do plan on replaying these games plenty, don't you worry. Probably not for YouTube, but I do plan on replaying them plenty. Anyways, let's check the music notes. The title is Moonlight Sonata. I love Moon Moonlight Sonata. It's a great song. I, li I like some classical music. You know, some people don't like it, and I can understand that, but I, I like most of it. Chris, unfortunately, can't read music. And yet he's going to try and play anyways. Alright then. Uh, good for you, I guess. Whoa, shit! Oh, oh, it's Rebecca. It's me, Chris. Is that you, Rebecca? Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? Wait, what is that? My interpretation is off a little. Chris, may I practice for a while? What? You want to practice the piano during a zombie outbreak? Are you fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? Yes. Go and let her do it. If it gets her out of my hair, just just do it, Chris. Seriously, J just fucking do it. See, just relax and play. All right. Now you can say no, and she'll still do it anyways, because again, you have to play the piano. Damn it, I cannot pronounce things. You have to play the piano to get the secret room to open, like I said, so... Yeah, it just goes by quicker if you say yes than no. If you say no, you get extra dialogue and whatnot, so... 
Yeah, plenty of people have shown that off in other YouTube videos though, so I won't bother adding to the mix. Anyways, let's move on. But seriously, you want to practice the piano when there are fucking zombies and monsters running around? What the fuck? That that makes no sense, okay? Seriously. It's not this is not Dead Rising where you can run on a treadmill while there's a zombie apocalypse. Okay, oh my god, that's still pretty silly. <laughs> I love Dead Rising though, seriously. I, I need to LP those games someday. Probably do the HD ones at some point. But anyways, let's pick up the ink ribbons here. I told you I'd get those. And yeah, let's uh, move on. Go through the blue doors here. Seriously, they, they really stand out. Why are they such a bright blue? Really stand out from the rest of the doors in the house, don't you think? And up there we have a map. Do I really need it? No, I don't. But I'll go and get it anyways, just just for the sake of it, of collection, of collection, of collecting. What can I say? I like collectathons. You know, they're they're fun. To map a first floor, we take it. Well, I went through all that effort, so yes, I will take it. All right. And in here we have more ink ribbons. But be careful, because there is a dead body in there. Well, quote-unquote undead. Truth is, if you run into his arms, he will grab you and munch away at your feet, and it will hurt, so you got to be careful to go around. There we go. Go around him, and there's the ink ribbons. And we do need those, because we'll be saving quite a bit, I'm sure. Maybe not as much as Jill's playthrough, but... We shall see. There we go. Now, alternatively, you could also stab or shoot the fucker, and then you don't have to worry about him at all, but it's a waste of bullets. You're better off just dodging him unless you're doing a speedrun or something like that. In which case, you're probably not going for those ink, ri ink ribbons anyways. So, the key's useless now, so we can throw it away. Although, I do have to wonder, how does Chris know the key is useless? Like, what? how does he know there are no more sword doors in this house. I'm just curious. Anyways, now we have the most famous hallway. Let's do this. Ah! Dogs! Just keep running. They'll never get you. Very easy to get by there without getting hurt. <laughs> yeah, imagine playing this first time back in 96 or 97 when this came out. I'm pretty sure it's 96 and then the Director's Cut came out the following year, or two years later, I'm not sure which. I don't have the release dates on hand, but just imagine playing that for the first time, and that happening. That that would scare you. It would have scared me if I hadn't known it was coming, but uh, I knew it was coming, so no, it didn't get me this time. Alright. And I'm pretty sure there's not much in this bathroom. I think there's a small key in here, and that's it. But, uh... What the? Oh, there's my reflection. I was going to say, is Chris a vampire? Filled with muddy water. Will you unplug it? Yes, I will. Let's go and drain that crappy water out. Although you have to wonder, who's going around and filling the bathtub to bathtubs with muddy water? Because this isn't the first. Excuse me, this is the first one, but it won't be the last one we see. What's up with that? What the hell? Oh no. The small keys don't don't combine? Don't go on each other like the bullets or the small keys from Remake? Son of a bitch! And that was my actual reaction when I realized that. I was like, wait, what? You can't put them together like in the Remake? That That's bullshit. Especially because Chris only has six slots. I mean, if you wanted to carry three small keys, that'd be half your inventory. That's some bullshit right there. And we won't be going in that room quite yet. That's the shotgun room where we, where Jill almost become a Jill, became a Jill sandwich. And I'm gonna unlock this door. I'm not worried about that samba right now. We'll just move on in here. Now this zombie on the other hand needs to die. We're gonna be coming here quite a bit, so fuck this guy. Yeah, drop dead. Although he's probably not dead. He's probably playing possum with me right now. Get the fuck up. I know you're not dead, bitch. Yeah, called it. Fuck you. 
Now he's probably dead, right? Yep, there's the blood. All right, perfect. So I gotta combine this, and I'm down to two spare bolts. Shit. This is going well. And there's a herb over there, but I don't have any room to pick it up, unfortunately. Boo! Small pocket space sucks! Alright, so... Let's go ahead and do some item management, shall we? Put this herb away. Don't need that right now. Don't need this small key quite yet. Or maybe I do. I'm not sure. We'll hold on to it just in case. Over here is the chemical, which we'll need later for that plant. And pick that up. And let's go and save, shall we? Our first save of the game as Chris. Alright. And you may notice one there because, uh, yes, I, uh, I tried it earlier and I fucked up completely because I went the wrong way and everything, so. Yeah. I did try this once before I fully started this playthrough, but I didn't get any further than this. So this point forward is all new to me. And then that's when I realized, wait, I have two small keys? Maybe I don't need two, right? Right? Wrong, I was an idiot and I brought both with me. Why did I do that? I don't know. I'm just so used to being Jill and having so much pocket space and being like, eh, fuck, I don't, I, it's, 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 it's okay if I have a few extra items, I still have space. Here though, you got jack shit. And yeah, my pockets are full yet I'm still continuing on. Eh, well, whatever. Let's go up the stairs and take out the zombies, I guess, because these two fuckers gotta die. We're gonna be coming through here quite a bit, so this one's gotta die. Drop, 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 drop. There we go. God, they have some weird sounding moans. Yeah, he saw me. And yeah, he's running against the guardrail. Eh, boy. Eleven bullets. Oh boy. We're all kinds of fucked, aren't we? Come on, die. I'm not convinced he's dead. And I was right. Hmm, is he dead? I think he's dead. Maybe not. We'll sit here and think. Yeah, he must be dead. He must be dead, right? Hmm, yep. No way he's alive. Okay. I thought I was going to be wrong and get grabbed there. But nope. Down to four bolts. Fucking great. And this one has a carving of armor, so we're not going in there quite yet. And oh shit, there's another zombie down here. That's lovely. Well, we'll deal with them later, though. Right now, time to move on. So let's go and unlock this door. I'm pretty sure if you come from the other way, it's locked, so... Yeah, just, just throwing that out there. I'm pretty sure it's locked come the other way, because that's actually what I did in my first attempt doing this. I came the wrong way. I was like, ah, fuck, I forgot to go up to the dining room and all that, so... Yeah, that's why I didn't keep that. Anyways, nothing uncommon. All right, whatever. It's well arranged. I like your desk in Resident Evil 2. And over here we have a file. Boat. Or book, whatever. File, book, whatever. As you may know, and blah blah blah, I've read all this before. If you guys saw my Jill playthrough, you've already seen this too. It's just telling you about the herbs and how they work. So green herbs, you know, they heal a little bit of health. Red herbs do nothing, and blue herbs heal poison. However, if you combine a red herb with a green herb, then it actually triples the healing power and basically makes it a full heal like a first aid spray, so... I probably didn't have to explain that, I'm pretty sure everyone knows how that works in Resident Evil, but I explained it anyway, so you're welcome. And in case you didn't know, now you know. Alright, moving on. We'll have to dodge these two zombies in here, including that free-spawning son of a bitch from my jail playthrough. Seriously, fuck that guy. Worst fucking zombie ever. 
All right, let's, you know what, I don't think I did that too well. We're gonna reset this room and try again. I, I really don't wanna get bit, what can I say? I really wanna do this right, so. Let's go back around, and, or go back out and try again. Maybe I should've went around, I don't know. All right, where is he? Okay, there we go. That wasn't too bad. But this son of a bitch right here, fucking fucking bastard, respond to my Jill play playthrough. I hate this guy. Damn it! And now he bites me, the motherfucker. I'm gonna kill him so bad. God damn it! Get off his arms. Seriously, no hugs, Chris. Do not hug the zombies. They are not nice. So, yeah, I'm still in yellow fine. I guess that's not too bad, but fuck me. Fuck that zombie, too, seriously. I want to kill him so bad, but I can't right now. I don't have enough ammo. Uh, and uh, if I'm honest, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I think I'm going to be going back to the uh, one room that I unlocked but didn't do anything in since I was being chased by that zombie. But we'll find out. Maybe I'll drop off the chemical in the one room I have to. We'll find out. This is very old footage. I record this like two months ago, a month ago. Yeah, I was recording Resident Evil 1 very shortly after playing Resident Evil 2, so. Yeah, quite a while back. Although not all this footage is from my original playthrough, because like Jill's, I did end up uh, doing two to a certain extent. Like I got so far with the first, and then after that I was like, you know what, I, I can do better. So I went back and I did better. And... Uh, yeah, I'll tell you guys when that happens, but anyways, folks, that's going to do it for this time, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later.